What's up, video bloggers? I hope everybody out there is doing good. I want to thank all the viewers who became subscribers, all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. Welcome. What's up, Shaka Brada? Welcome, Honda. Uh, yeah, man. Thank you so much for subscribing and, and, and being a part of what I'm sharing to the world, eh? So, check this out. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this this topic right here, I've been wanting to talk about for maybe about two and a half months, but I didn't have a lot of the uh, material which I do today, and that's why it's coming out. Um, so I actually just came back from doing some light grocery shopping, right? And this happens a lot whenever I go out. People look at me, and they stare. And some people, when they look at me, they just look get a quick stare and then just carry on but some people would just can't help themselves to like you know to just like just like beam right on me right and um they're 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 thinking to themselves maybe well well this is this is the perception that i get when people look at me is that the first thing that they think of is that person is transgender the reason why i feel this is because the uh Transgender people have been, uh, there is a lot more um, notice of transgender-ness, uh, 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 transitioning from, you know, from and to either uh, gender. And um, uh, Neil and I had talked about this some time ago, and we had a really good talk. I wish we actually vlogged it, but uh, it was amazing. But uh, so, I think, well, I think they think, well... Is that is that a guy, trend you know, transitioning to a woman, or is that a woman a woman transitioning into a guy? And then they figure, well, maybe it's somebody like that's caught right in the middle, right? Because well, you if you figure by the normal people, because they're so lucky to be freaking normal, right? I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, that they figure, well, if a woman is transitioning into a guy, she she would most likely want to cut her hair short, or actually she. She to he would want to cut their hair short because um, that way they would be more more um, um, anatomically male. You know what I mean um, to the eyes. But you know what? I'm so glad to see a lot of men out there. A lot of young men. A lot of uh, adult men actually growing their hair out. It looks good. Look great. Great looking guys. I pre you know I appreciate it. It looks great. Um, so. And then on top of that, I'm, I'm wearing hot freaking pink, right? <laughs> and people are like, wait, what the fuck? Like, I don't, I don't get it, kind of a thing, you know? What I, mean? I don't get it. So um, that's that's that, that's some of the stuff that I deal with, and, and some of the guys that that stare, and, and you know, I guess some of the women that stare too, and they're just like, hmm. I, I think, I think a lot of there's, I, I think there's there's not too much. Uh, open sensitivity to the people that they're staring at. You know, um, I sometimes I feel like, like, like actually designing a T-shirt because I did design this T-shirt. It will be up for sale on my website, Pure Wild Savage. Don't go there yet. I'm still working on shit. <laughs> um, and I'll I'll get into the topic of the reason why I chose that name later on. But uh, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it, it just feels to me that that that, that you know they're, they're they're seeing the pink, and they're seeing the long hair, and they're seeing you know very slim physique, and uh, you know I I don't have any breasts, you know um, I have you know you know I have I have I have a male body, but that's not some some people aren't that perceptive, but so anywho's. Uh, <laughs> traveling away from that topic uh, yeah it's just like one of those things that I like like when I hang out with my friends like when they see people staring at me they want to be defensive on my behalf I'm like relax relax I got it don't worry about it it doesn't bother me one freaking bit they're like yeah we'll bother you well, just just shut the fuck up and relax really that's what I just told them like like ease up ease up I mean I mean you know I'm the one that should be getting upset and if I'm not then then you know I'm, I'm cool with it so uh, I used to go to P Flag, the the Greater Worcester P Flag chapter here in Worcester, Massachusetts, and um, I used to go. I've been going for about 
three years, and the last time I went was in December of 2015. Um, was it December? Or maybe it was January of 2016. 2016. Um, and I, when I go there, like I go to share a lot of myself, uh, just be being open like how I am here. Um, you know, talking about different things and. Uh, you know, I I opened up and I talked and, and I told them about the whole the whole journey which, uh, uh, which led me into the knowledge about being being an ex ex male. If you have not seen that video blog, kablam, check it out. Uh, yeah, and uh, so I, I had I had I had discussed that with them, and it's like the first thing. It pissed me off, and this is why I haven't gone back yet. When I told them about the XX male syndrome and about that I am I am on on, on the genetic scale, I am all female, but on anatomically, physically, I'm male. And then the first and the two people said, "Oh, so you're intersex?" And I was like, "What?" I said, "No, I don't know." I was like, and I was I was. Fucking pissed, but I was keeping. I was. I was. I was trying to be nice and, and social about it, and you know, until I got home and until I, 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 until I absorbed more about my feelings about why I felt pissed off. The reason why I felt pissed off is because going to P Flag, you know, a place where people go to denounce, go to dispel, go to erase labels. These two motherfuckers were freaking labeling me. Like I just told you, XX male. Okay, I identify as being a child of Albert de la Chapelle, the man who, uh, the uh, the genetic scientist who first stumbled upon uh, the double X chromosome uh, male. XX male syndrome, also called de la Chapelle syndrome for Albert de la Chapelle, who characterized it in 1972, which is two years after I was born, uh, is a rare sex chromosomal disorder. It usually, it's usually caused by unequal crossing over of X and Y chromosomes during meiosis in the father, which results in the X chromosome containing the normally male SRY gene. When, the, when this X combines with the normal X from the mother during fertilization, the result is an XX male. The syndrome occurs in approximately 4 or 5 in 100,000 individuals, making it less common than Klinefelter syndrome. The presentation it goes through all these different things. Uh, individuals with this condition sometimes have feminine characteristics with varying degrees of gynecomastia, which I don't have. Uh, no, no intra-abdominal mullerian tissue. Uh, so it goes through all this stuff. Most XX males are not stereotypically feminine and are typical boys and men. Uh, although the reports suggest that, fac that facial hair growth is usually poor and libido is diminished with notable exceptions like myself. I cannot help my libido. I just, ugh, it is an unstoppable train. Um, <laughs> you didn't need to know that. Well, yeah, maybe you did. We're talking about this shit, right? We're brain open, right? So, um, on the clinical diagnosis area, it talks about male external genitalia sometimes showing hypospate, uh, what is it? Hip Hypospadias. If you have not, if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna to try to find a nice link for you so that you don't get freaked out by what it is. But you can all, you can actually click on click on the link there and see what it is too. Uh, blam. Uh, so yeah, it, it just goes into different things and whatnot. And you know, I you know I identify with that part. Okay. Like how I, I don't identify with being gay, but I identify with as being queer. Because queer is an open, it's an open concept, right? It's not closed, like, like, like one thing, that's all you are, kind of a thing, right? So, <laughs> I really, that really pissed me off that two people, and I, I think maybe one of, one of my, one of this, 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 this wonderful woman who uh, is transgender, um, trans, transitioned to a woman, a, a very beautiful person inside and out. Um, I think she may have sensed that I was retracting after I had talked about that, and or a, a, after they had said, "Oh, you're intersex." No, I, I'm, I'm not. Even though 
there are some parts of the defining characteristics of intersex do include XX male. It, I think it, I think it leaves it order. Uh, I think it leaves it open to a broader interpretation, which it also includes having both genitalia, some mutated to the point where they're, where where they're not uh, equally uh, split, you know, uh, equally separated. Um, so yeah, it, I just ah, yeah, it just pissed me off, you know. You know, I, I've talked about labels before, and you know, I you know, I don't live in a box, okay. My my brain isn't in a box. Uh, of course, it's in my skull, but you know what? My brain is is also external as well. You know what I mean? Uh, it's 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 um, it's ethereal as well as cosmic. But yeah, I don't live in a box. You know, with a fucking label on it. Don't label me. Why? Why? So uh, that's something which I am going to. I I, I possibly mean possibly may go back and just express to them that, you know, I, you know, that, that it wasn't cool, um, because I like helping out people there, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't go there to hook up with guys, it's, it's not that kind of a P-flag, uh, but, anyways, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say, I, <laughs> people and their perceptions, um, you just have to live with it, okay? And if you can, if 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 you can live with it in a in a positive way, where you don't let it affect you spiritually or 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 mentally, you know, to where you're gonna just retract and never go out in public again and and stuff like that. You know, if if you can handle it, that's that's great. You know, um, I hope everyone out there enjoys are or actually are enjoying this uh fucking bee trying to buzz my ass uh <laughs> i hope everyone is enjoying the two vlogs a week thing i will try my best to keep it up take care much love and so gonna die